It's probably when he was at a door. It's probably when he probably forced his way to my bed. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Reckless Crime. Today, we're going to talk about an inspiring individual who left a significant impact on those around her. Her name was Jalen Sarah Hasty. Before we start, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories. Jalen Sarah Hasty was a Grosbeck High School alumna from Columbia, South Carolina. She was born on April 22, 1994, and she lived a life full of promise and potential. Jalen was the assistant property manager for the Cardinal at the Beach Company. In her role, she managed the processing of new tenant applications, lease execution, resident communication, and contributed to marketing efforts. Jalen was not just a dedicated professional, she was also a committed student. She graduated from Grosbeck High School and held a pharmacy technician certification. She was an alumnus of Midlands Technical College. Jalen was a native of South Carolina and resided in Columbia with her daughter. She was known to be a lovable person and served as a source of inspiration to many. Tragically, Jalen's life was cut short on August 24, 2023. She became a victim of domestic violence that led to a shooting. Richland County deputies say is responsible for the shooting death of 29-year-old Jalen Hasty at her Heron Lake apartment on North Brickyard Road in Columbia. The mother of Hasty, Monica Hatton Tatum, saying she's trying not to hate Bates for what he did to her daughter. I try to not have hate in my heart for Canardo. Every time I talk to someone different, I hear something I don't want to hear. According to authorities, Columbia fire crews responded to reports of a water leak at the Heron Lake Apartments on Thursday night, August 24th. When they went inside the first floor apartment, it was coming from fire officials found Hasty shot dead on her couch and her ex-boyfriend Bates wounded with a handgun near him. And it's so heartbreaking because my family loved this guy. Bates had been in the hospital since August 24th and was released on September 1st, the same day Hasty was laid to rest. He is now being held at the Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center. Authorities say the two had a romantic relationship at one point and the shooting appears to be due to domestic violence. And then the, she was ending the relationship. Family says Hasty and Bates have been separated for a year prior to the incident. Bates and Hasty also share a young daughter together, and family members say they were working to co parent despite the ended relationship. It was a domestic dispute. Sheriff Leon Lott is offering advice for people who may be in similar situations. 31-year-old Canardo Bates had been hospitalized since August 23rd. Deputies say firefighters found him and a woman in an apartment, both with gunshot wounds. Investigators say Bates was self-inflicted. WIS reporter Jalen Tartz spoke to the sheriff and has his message for anyone dealing with domestic violence. Jalen. Yes, Cynthia, 29-year-old Jalen Hasty and Carnado Bates were in a romantic relationship before the shooting occurred. Sheriff Lott emphasized for victims dealing with domestic violence to get out of the situation before it's too late. People say it's love, but when you kill somebody or you try to dominate somebody's whole life, that's not love. The Columbia Richland Fire Department was called for a water leak alarm at an apartment in the 1300 block of North Brickyard Road on August 23rd, according to the Richland County Sheriff's Department. Investigators says Jalen Hasty died at the scene from her injuries and Bates was taken to the hospital. Deputies say they recovered a gun from Bates before he was taken to the hospital with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Investigators believe that the incident is in result of domestic violence. Richland County Sheriff Leon Lott says education is really important in situations like this one. This incident is a stark reminder of the urgent need for addressing domestic violence in our society. Despite the tragedy, Jalen's legacy continues. Her life story serves as an inspiration for many. Her dedication to her career and her love for her family will always be remembered. We hope that Jalen's story inspires you as much as it has inspired us. Let's remember her for the positive impact she made during her time with us. If you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence, please reach out to local authorities or a trusted individual in your life. Thank you for watching.